He wasn't in uniform, he didn't have kids, he had all his limbs, he wasn't limping, he didn't have a cough, he just walked on the plane. It's like, who the f is that guy? <laughs> Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is Polo. Hope you guys are doing well out there. Today, we are checking out Bill Burr's issue with the airline boarding process. Now, I haven't seen this yet. You guys will get to go on that journey with me shortly. But before we get into it, please like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you can stay up to date with my latest videos by liking the video. That tells me you want me to check out more from Bill Burr. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go. You know, in the last segment, you're, you know, you're, there's a lot you get worked up about, you know, and you've always been that way. I've known you a long time. You get worked up about stuff, yes. you get happy. You when he was four, he was like, things were better when I was three. <laughs> <laughs> World shit now. Ah, <laughs> uh, the heydays of my twos. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Yeah. Oh, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Are you now that you're playing Madison Square Garden, you got all these fans, uh, you're extremely successful uh, comedian. Are you able to enjoy your success now? Are you able to just have some fun yes. with the fact that you're a success? Yes, yes, I enjoy it, but I still, you know, the bane of my existence is I let little things bother me. Downloading <laughs> new operating systems will just, you know, I bring a lot of tension into the house, according to my wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One thing I've noticed, we're, we're always working on me, you know? <laughs> like, my wife is evidently some completed work, like, under museum glass. And I'm like that <laughs> building that has scaffolding around it for, like, seven years. Right. But, no, she is, she's a saint for putting up with me. I, I know. But, like, my latest thing that's driving me nuts is I spent 20 years in the back of the plane getting treated like an animal. And uh, I finally worked my way up to the front of the plane, group one, which means you get to board like it's your plane, right? right? You, you, board, you get to board. Yes. For, yeah, you first, sit yeah. in a chair that's the size for a human being. <laughs> There's a place for your bag. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I just recently went through this. I, I don't fly often. I hadn't flown in years. And I flew this year. And um, I was like one of the first to arrive. Okay. So I'm standing next to the door. And if you want to feel low, I didn't know that they start boarding all these other people before you, even though you're, you know, you were there first. I know first class and everything goes in first, but there were so many people that <laughs> that we were dead last. Even though we were, we were the first to get there, we were the last to board. It really makes you feel low. Yep. Right. You get a little hot towel and all. And then the second I get that, all of a sudden now there's like these 20 groups that are like pre-boarding now. Mm -hmm. Like half the right. plane qualifies and they're getting on. <laughs> and I just sit there just like losing my shit. You know, it well, starts off like it's just like anybody in uniform, anybody in military. So it's like, all right, all right. But after like the 20th guy, you just start being like, have, have you seen action? <laughs> anybody with uh, uh, strollers. Everybody was before us, you know. <laughs> then it's anybody, anybody with kids. Anybody with disabilities, yeah. and they just anybody with a red shirt. <laughs> hey, it's it's Tony Tuesday. Anybody named Anthony can get on. Dude, I sat one time. I saw this guy get on the plane. Uh -huh. Okay, he wasn't in uniform. He didn't have kids. He had all his limbs. He wasn't limping. He didn't have a cough. He just walked on the plane. It's like, who the f is that guy? Right. <laughs> How did I get on before that guy? Right. <laughs> so. <laughs> no, I always hated the anxiety of being in the back of the plane. I just remember, like, the worst is whenever you would get your seat and you'd sit there and they're about ready to close the door and you'd have that empty seat next to you. Like, yes, like yes. the poor man's first class. You're like, oh, shit, I'll bring oh, the yes. armrest up. I can actually be great. And then all of a sudden, some fat bastard gets on the plane. <laughs> and you're like, no, no, no. You're, you're literally, you're like Quint at the end of Jaws, like sliding down the floor. <laughs> I swear to God, this is all true. <laughs> this dude got on. He was so fat. He was sitting next to me. I was literally next to him and behind him. He was. <laughs> he like tried to make himself smaller, and he like folded his arm, and his lat came out like like a you know those old Western saloon things. Like, I'm just sitting behind this thing. <laughs> So, yeah, so, yeah, that, that motivates you to try to... That would piss me off so viciously, especially if it's a long flight. Get so to a all these years, 20 years, you work your way up to the front, 
and now still they won't let you. Uh, yeah, now that fat guy's considered disabled because he can't stop eating cookies. <laughs> so he gets on. Look at him groaning. Ninety percent of the world is starving to death. <laughs> that guy. He is salad and get on the treadmill like the rest of us. We're all working out. What is the problem? You gotta love this guy. <laughs> Well, okay, what could you do? Could you do anything then? Could you get on the plane? Is there anything you could do? Oh, that Conan, would get I imagine there's something that I could be doing. There's always something that I could be doing. That's what I've learned being married. You know, right. well, you should have done it this way. <laughs> I'm sorry, like that so, literally- So that, I'm your wife play, right now, that, Yeah, that's that was just playing in the loop. Uh, what, She's got PTSD. What am I doing now? You know, this is the thing, you know what it kills me? It's what? just like, if I could just fix my <laughs> temper, my wife, she'd have nothing on me. Yeah. You got nothing on me. I doubt that. I work my ass off. I make a great living. I like doing the dishes. I'm a great dad. All she has on me is just, it's just, I don't know, like oh, my overall vibe. That's it. <laughs> Wait, all she has That's on you is, my is your overall personality and vibe. Yeah, but what kills me, essence. I was this guy the when she- The essence of who you are is the only I, thing. Yeah, but I was this guy when she met me. Yeah. She's acting like I changed. Right. Yeah. I was always flipping out. Right. Were you I, flipping I, out the day like when you met? Did you flip out? Did you, you really that? Yeah, early I remember. Courtship? She told me to go see that movie Monster. Mm -hmm. Remember that movie with Charlie Theron? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And everybody was saying how, uh, oh my God, it was unbelievable. Like they, they literally blamed guys that she was a serial killer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when you saw the Jeffrey Dahmer movie, it wasn't like, ah, somebody shoved a tuna fish sandwich up my ass and I confused people with food. So I, like, they didn't make like a big excuse for him. You know? She was a psycho killing people and she should have died. But I'm like watching it feeling guilt. Do they ever take responsibility for their actions? Even when they're murdering Go off then. People, it's somehow our fault. It's, it's, it's unreal. Why would having a tuna fish sandwich shoved up your butt make you want to eat people? Because That's the part that he stuck on right there. <laughs> he would bring that back up. Why would having a tuna fish sandwich shoved up your butt make you want to eat people? Because another man did it. <laughs> right? So it's another person. So you, you equated, I don't know, sex with food? I forget. I forget how the idea went. But all you I know should, is she laughed. When I said it, she was dying laughing and kind of saw my point. And um, I always right, so hate when she says to me, she'd just be like, you know, I just don't see what, where is that coming from? Where is that coming from? It's just like, honey, how many childhood stories do I have to tell you right. before you follow the breadcrumbs to the psycho that you married? I mean, did you ever take a psychology class like you didn't see this coming? Right. That's what it is. It's not that she says that I'm a jerk. It's just the nerve to be surprised. <laughs> Should know me by now. Um, all right, I wish we had more time. Uh, good God. That was right. awesome. I feel like I, do I help you at all by getting no, this, this stuff cathartic. out? this is cathartic. It's cathartic, right? It's cathartic, because right? I'm going to go home. She's not going to watch this. She's over me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's definitely going to watch it. I love it when a guest says, no one, she's not going to watch no, this. No, she's not going to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. You can see Bill on his latest nationwide tour, 50, and he's starting to mellow, I swear to God. <laughs> I am. I'm getting the twinkle in my eye back. At the, TD, at the TD Garden in Boston on October 5th and Madison Square Garden, wow, on Wednesday, November 7th. That's fantastic. Unbelievable. Thank Unbelievable. You, For more cities and dates, Thank you. go to BillBurr.com. Bill Burr, we'll be right back with Gina Hall. For Bill. How is this guy this funny? Man, this guy is just hilarious. Um, every video that I've reacted to of his... He has me straight dying, man. Um, just funny, funny dude, man. I can see why his tickets are so crazy because I was looking at those ticket prices to sit where I want to sit. And I'm like, just like he had to work his way up to the <laughs> to the first row, I got to work my way up to those ticket prices. All right. <laughs> uh, but until then, I'll enjoy these YouTube videos. Um, he's just funny, man. Him and Dave Chappelle, I think, are like the top two, in my opinion, right now, um, as far as what I want to see. Be, and I don't think it's a coincidence that they worked on the same show. They just, they both just, just funny. All right. So I enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You guys take it easy out there. Peace.